Kids Chronicles Quest for the Moonstones was published in 2021 by Lucky Duck Games through their new Lucky Duck Kids line. Designed by David Sikuro, it was illustrated by Mateusz Komada, Marina Nestorova, and Chanon Torcharovensri. Lucky Duck Games provided this in exchange for an honest review. One to four players travel around a map to talk to and help characters solve mysteries and experience a fantastical adventure as Magician's Apprentice. Like Chronicles of Crime, this game's older sibling, this is app-based. Scan QR codes to travel. The app shows you images and text, scenes to investigate, and plays music and sounds to bring you into the world. Scan characters to talk, and scan items to hear what characters have to say about things. That's about it, really. The tutorial will walk you through the details to prepare you for the main adventures. To break it down, travel to explore and investigate. That's Kids Chronicles Quest for the Moonstones. Our games of Kids Chronicles Quest for the Moonstones, including Setup and Takedown, have averaged 40 minutes. The board is a bit smaller than many board games, plus there's only two card decks and no real player areas, so you only need a maximum of 3 feet by 3 feet. A 5 year old could understand the basic rules, but will likely need help with reading and some decisions. The app guides you through everything. If they're strong readers, a group of 8 year olds could probably play this game on their own. Kids Chronicles Quest for the Moonstones' its components are colorful and appealing and have strong graphic design. Unlike in Chronicles of Crime, every location has a scene to examine. I think kids will have a lot of fun with these. Shout out everything you see and the others will rush through the decks. Even with the time limit, items and characters are distinct enough to stand out in the app and on the cards. Chronicles of Crime has location cards, which takes up more table space, but does allow for more variety in cases compared to the fixed locations on this double-sided board. On the other hand, lots of things can happen in a forest, swamp, castle, and so on, so Lucky Duck could keep updating the app with new stories in the future. This game does not punish you for exploring. You're not on a time limit, so you can shove every item you've discovered in everyone's face, travel everywhere so all kids get a turn at each location, and so on. The writing is good enough that you'll want to do this. It's like a Geronimo Stilton story. Even if you spend time exploring everything, the game is short enough that kids probably won't get too squirmy. I have ADHD, yet I wanted to scan everything to see what this world had to offer. Though there aren't many decisions to make throughout gameplay, there are choices. Someone has lost something. Based on the clues, where were they last? Another example could be figuring out how to distract a character so you can access a location. Because there is a fixed narrative, it isn't especially replayable. That's usually an issue with these types of games. Lucky Duck has supported Chronicles of Crime with DLC and box expansions, so that will probably happen here depending on how the game does. Kids Chronicles Quest for the Moonstones is an app-driven adventure that introduces families to the Chronicles system using Chronicles of Crime and soon Chronicles of Time. This is incredibly charming with a cute theme and story, all things that will appeal to families with young gamers. I personally feel that I've grown out of this. If you have gamers 10 and older, maybe check out Chronicles of Crime's Welcome to Redview. I'll add a link to that at the end of this video. For younger kids though, I think they'll really enjoy the opportunity to be inside of this Disney or DreamWorks-like fairytale world, exploring its locations and meeting its fun cast of characters.